Okay, so it may be called the American Music Awards, but Canada dominated the show last night. However, it was an emotional speech from Selena Gomez that has everyone talking. I think it's safe to say that most of you know a lot of my life, whether I liked it or not. And I had to stop because I, I had everything and I was absolutely broken inside. And I kept it all together enough to where I would never let you down, but I kept it too much together to where I let myself down. Moving words from Selena Gomez as she accepted the award for favorite female artist. As we reported, Gomez has been on a career hiatus since the end of August, spending time in rehab to focus on her emotional health and other issues caused by lupus. Last night, the whole audience was on her side, particularly Lady Gaga. If you are broken, you do not have to stay broken. Whether you respect me or not, that's one thing you should know about me, is I care about people. Now we've got to talk about Drake. The rapper, who had a record-setting 13 AMA nominations, nabbed three solo awards. His first win of the night, and his first AMA ever, was for favorite rap hip-hop album, fittingly presented by fellow Torontonian Nina Dobrev. Me and Nina were on Degrassi together, by, by the way, so... We've come a long way, you know? And, of course, the Six God gave this shout-out. I want to thank the city of Toronto. Woo! Always reppin' and Jersey's biggest competition, fellow Canuck Justin Bieber, who wasn't in L.A. for the show, but performed from his world tour stop in Italy. The Biebs beat out Drake in all four categories he won, including Video of the Year for Sorry. Other great Canadian takeover moments, performances from The Weeknd and Shawn Mendes. I know I can see. And the smallest artist won the biggest award. Ariana Grande picked up Artist of the Year. Meanwhile, Sting received this year's Merit Award after performing a medley of his iconic hits. One artist not at the AMAs, Kanye West. That was because he had a concert scheduled last night, but he was a no-show there too, cancelling the gig three hours before showtime. It came just after Kanye ditched his show in Sacramento on Saturday night after only half an hour, although that half hour did include an unexpected rant, which contained a little attack on Beyonce, whom he lost to at the MTV VMAs earlier this year. Beyonce, I was hurt, because I heard that you said Quite a different tune than West used to sing. Remember, it was at the VMAs in 2009 that West infamously interrupted Taylor Swift's win to say Beyonce deserved the award more. I don't understand. Which part are you having trouble with? Well, I can't be the guardian. Rave reviews are pouring in for Manchester by the Sea, especially for Casey Affleck, younger brother of Ben, whose performance is being called career-defining. Terry Hart caught up with Affleck's co-stars to talk about what sets this indie drama about a man grappling with a family tragedy apart. It's incredibly moving. It's incredibly touching. It's been such a long time since I've watched a movie and legitimately felt what is going to happen to these people. There's nothing like it that I've seen in the last many years. It's just, it's just wonderful in so many different ways. It's got an energy to it, and it's got a deep emotional track that is just very real. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm gonna just sit there until you calm down. All right, I'm calming now. Would you please just go away? No. And coming up tomorrow, we're going behind the scenes of Disney's new animated flick, Moana.